I've been home for three months from Brazil. He and I, close friends. I called him a couple times. He called me a couple times. We missed each other. Meant to see him. I mean, you know, now I feel like, damn. I was gone to Brazil for four years, and I didn't see the guy. We kept in touch, of course, we always kept in touch. He was my best buddy, my hunting buddy, when I was a kid. Um, because he went to church, we went to the same church together. We grew up in the same church. Our fathers were deacons together in the Baptist church, you understand? What's my, oh yeah, don't hit the bed. Anyway, our fathers were deacons together in the Alice Drive Baptist church. And so he and I, when I was in eighth grade, my parents sent me out to a country private school, all white academy. This is 1964, when I was 13 years old, or 14. Eighth, or eighth grade, maybe. Ninth, I can't remember. Eighth. Anyhow, Carol was out there. And he and I, had, he had always gone to the country school, but I went to the city school. Or the, on the edge of the city school. We actually lived in the county, but we were closest to those schools. But as soon as that, <laughs> as soon as the first black children went to the little public schools, not even our school, my grandfather wrote a check for all the tuition for all his grandchildren to go to the all-white private academy. Anyway, this guy and I were classmates and Sunday school mates <laughs> and hunting buddies. And I'm gonna miss him a lot. His name was Carol Pitts. And he was a damn good friend of mine. Just, we're reminded of our mortality uh, pretty regularly in this life. Especially when you hit 57, which I'm about to turn on Super Tuesday, 57 years old. Uh, I feel it too. <laughs> but I'm alive.